Let's take a look at the number of molecules in one mole. So the mole, it's defined as containing 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd elementary entities. What do we mean by elementary entities? We mean particles like molecules, atoms, ions, or even electrons. So that's the key. A mole of anything has 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. So when you're asked the number of molecules in one mole, you just say 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. This is often called Avogadro's number. This is really useful though. Say you're given 1.3 moles of water molecules, which we can abbreviate 1.3 mol, and I won't write water molecules here. How many molecules are in 1.3 moles? We know that there's Avogadro's number here of molecules in one mole. So we consider this a conversion factor and we put moles on the bottom because since we have moles on the top here, if we multiply by this conversion factor, moles cancel out and we're left with the number of molecules. 1.3 times Avogadro's number here. That gives us 7.8 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules. And that's it. So when we convert from moles to molecules or atoms or ions, we're just multiplying by Avogadro's number. Now you try one. Convert 0.72 moles of gold, AU, to atoms. So we have our moles of gold. We multiply that by the conversion factor. And really all we're doing is multiplying moles times Avogadro's number. But this way, we see we have moles on top and bottom. That cancels out. 0.72 times Avogadro's number. 4.33 times 10 to the 23rd gold atoms. We can also convert particles to moles. Say we're given 2.71 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules. How do we get that to moles? We use the conversion factor again. So we have molecules and we know that we have Avogadro's number of particles of molecules in one mole. Since we have 2.71 times 10 to the 23rd molecules here, and then down here we have molecules. We can cancel out molecules. We're going to be left with moles. That gives us 0.45 moles of water. So we converted our molecules of water to moles. You try one now. Convert 7.5 times 10 to the 23rd gold atoms to moles. So essentially, when we're going from atoms or particles or molecules to moles, we divide by Avogadro's number. So here we have our conversion factor. Note that we have atoms on the top and the bottom. They cancel out, so we know we're doing it right. 7.5 times 10 to the 23rd times 1, and then we divide that by Avogadro's number. We get 1.2 moles. So in answer to our original question, one mole of molecules is Avogadro's number. And we can use that to convert from atoms or molecules or particles to moles, or we can convert moles to particles. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.